Today we're going to talk about how mortgage rate changes impact your home buying power. And if you've been in the market either as a buyer or a seller and you're thinking about doing something in real estate, you probably got your eye on this type of news, these headlines. And the great news is mortgage rates are starting to come down a little bit. This is driven by a number of things, you know, unemployment, jobs. And so we're, we're seeing good things in the market, but we are not going to expect to see the interest rates to be as low as they were during COVID. That's just not realistic. Those were kind of unprecedented money printing years. We're trying to bring them down slowly, but surely it's going to be bumpy. They came down a lot. Now they're back up. So although it's trending in the right direction, we don't think it's going to be going crazy. It should hopefully be a little bit slow and steady over time. Now, how does this actually affect you? I want you to take a look at this chart here. And on the left side, we have some sample mortgage interest rates. So at one point, you know, mortgage interest rates were as high as seven and a half percent. Right now, a lot of people are getting around six and a half, six and three quarters. And maybe with some interest rate buy downs, you could get your interest rate really low, like down below 6% into the five. The question is, how does this impact your monthly payment. That's really what it comes down to. So if we look at the center column, let's say that you're buying a $400,000 house, the difference between a seven and a half percent interest rate and a five and three quarter interest rate is about $460. So it's a significant amount, but it's not necessarily world changing amounts, especially if we're just fluctuating in here around the middle If that $400,000 house, you know, had a six and a half versus six and three quarters you'd be looking at less than $100 of difference, closer to $60 a month difference. So it's not the end of the world. It does add up over time. We do prefer to get a lower rate, but uh, just keeping this in mind, obviously if your house is $800,000, then all of these differences would double and it would become much more significant. So the lower the rate, the more your buying power. And that's the good thing with rates coming down. You can buy more house with the same monthly payment or the house you want will have a lower monthly payment. So how can you keep track of the latest rates? So real estate agents have the expertise to help you understand what's happening and also mortgage brokers do as well. So we can provide visuals, tools, charts, and so forth like what you're seeing here to show you uh, how rates are changing and how that impacts your buying power. So you don't have to be a mortgage expert. You don't need to track these things. As you get ready to buy a home or you're wondering if I did buy a home, what would my payment be? Reach out and we can do some simple math to give you a good ballpark estimate of what that would look like. And then once you've decided to move forward, you'll lock in your mortgage rate, which means it will freeze for 30 or 60 days as you're in the home buying process. So then you won't have to worry that it's going to go up again and your payment will get higher. Once you're locked, you don't have to worry about mortgage rate fluctuations anymore. I hope this was helpful. Mortgages can be fun. Let's get you into something now before the market starts going crazy again. And if rates come down in the future, you can always refinance. I actually have a lender. He calls it his lender for life program. He'll give you a free refinance in the future if and when rates do come down to just get your payment that much more affordable. So let me know how I can help. Reach out to me in the DMs or the comments, and I will see you on the next video.